In this video, we will go over how to get started in Desk Manager Online. For day-to-day -day use, see the second video in this series. Chapters break up the YouTube video into sections. You can skip to any section of the video by hovering your mouse over the timeline, clicking the name of the chapter, then clicking your desired chapter. Desk Manager has a wide range of display and interface customization options. Click the user icon in the top right, then click Display and Interface Settings. The Settings window will open. You may click and drag the Settings window to see different parts of the screen. There are four built-in themes. Colorful, which is the default. Bluesy. Oceanic. And Royal. You may also select the custom option to choose your own design from the options below. You have the option to adjust the size of labels, inputs, and the style of tabs. You can choose whether to show icons in the toolbar as well. You may choose how Desk Manager chooses its default filter, and what window to open the details page in. If the screen is not to your preference in size, you can make everything on the page bigger, by pressing Ctrl and Plus, on your keyboard. To make everything on the page smaller, press Ctrl and Minus. To reset the page zoom, press Ctrl and Zero. To navigate Desk Manager online, there are shortcuts to each section on the left sidebar. Click the three lines to expand the sidebar. To keep the sidebar expanded while navigating Desk Manager online, click the pin at the top. To get started, let's add lot details. This information will be used for forms when printing from Desk Manager online. First, click Settings to take you to the Settings page. Next, under Organization, click Lots. This will bring you to the Lot Settings page. Click the lot you want to modify. Here, you can enter your license number, dealer number, tax ID, and website URL. You can also mark whether this lot is a finance company. If a form requires any of this information, it will be pulled from here. Once you have filled in the information, click Save. When you choose this lot, forms will use this information where it is necessary. If your lot is a related finance company, also known as a captive finance company, make sure that you check the checkbox, this will be used when accounts are closed. Next, we will define the user roles. We will show how to add new users momentarily, but before that, we need to understand roles. Roles are used to enforce policy and determine what each role member can or cannot do in the application. First, click Settings to bring you to the main settings page. Next, click Roles. This is the role setting page. Desk Manager Online offers a comprehensive set of security settings and access rights, and you can customize those settings for each role. Remember that each user may be a member of one or multiple roles. You can see a list of predefined roles that Desk Manager Online has set up for you. You can modify the settings for each role, or add new roles. You can also delete a role if you do not need that role anymore. To create a new role, click on Add New. You can also start by copying an existing role. To copy a role, click Copy. In this demonstration, we will duplicate the sales rep role. First, enter the name of the new role you are creating to separate it from the other roles. In this case, we will create a role for sales rep restricted. Here, there are multiple groups of access rights, based on different functional areas in the application. Each section contains options to allow or block specific features for users in this role. Click the name of the section to open its settings below. Here we will click Inventory. Checking a box means the role allows users to use that feature, while unchecking a box means users in this role are not able to access that feature. Next to Print, we will uncheck it, meaning the user will not be able to print in inventory. Once the settings for this role are selected, click Save. The new role will be listed in the role settings. If you want to edit a role that you have created, click the name of the role. This will open the setup page for the role. I will click Sales Rep Restricted. Here we will click Deals. Next to BHPH Dashboard, we will check it, meaning the user has access to the BHPH Dashboard. Click Save when the edits are complete. 
To assign users to a role, click the Members button to the right of the role you would like to add users to. Here we will add members to our new role. You can also add members to each role from the Users menu or when you create new users. If your dealership has multiple lots, you will be shown a list of the lots for your dealership. Remember that a user might have a different role in different lots. Click Add Users. Click the name of the lot to show the users that are associated with that lot. Then click the checkbox for each user you would like added to this role. In this case, we will add a user to our sales rep restricted role by checking the box next to the user. Once complete, click Save. To delete a role you have created, click the delete icon to the right of the role. You may only delete roles that you have created. The administrator role created by Desk Manager Online cannot be deleted. This will show a page asking you to confirm. When deleting a role, the users assigned to this role will lose all the privileges that they had through membership to this role. Click Delete to confirm. From here you can add, edit, or delete roles, as well as add users to a role from the list. Now that the roles have been set, we will add a new user. This will allow you to create separate accounts for each person. Each person using Desk Manager Online must have their own user account. First, click the Settings button. This takes us to the Desk Manager Online Settings page. Next, click Users. This is the User Settings page. Then, click Add New. Enter the first and last name, and email address. These are used to email an invite for your coworkers to create their Desk Manager Online account. Click Invite User to Register. Once the user is registered to Desk Manager, a subsequent Web Manager user can be created or linked to an existing Web Manager account. This allows the user to use the same credentials for both products. Clicking Create Web Manager Account will create a new identical Web Manager account for this Desk Manager user. By default, the role of guest is applied in order to prevent granting a user too much access to Web Manager data and is marked inactive. To activate the user, change the status from inactive to active, then click Save. If this user had a Web Manager account prior to creating a Desk Manager account, the user could link their accounts. Clicking Link Account will show a list of existing user accounts in Web Manager. Select the Web Manager user account you would like to link with this user in Desk Manager. The link between user accounts has now been created, but is not yet verified. Whether the user existed or not, to verify this link, the new user must log into Desk Manager, then click the Web Manager Marketing button in the list on the left, or the button on the home page. This will open a new tab to log into Web Manager. The client ID and the username will be pre-populated from Desk Manager. The new user will enter their Desk Manager password and log in. This will verify the linked accounts and allow the user to log into Web Manager automatically when accessing any Web Manager shortcuts in Desk Manager. Once the user has verified the link, go back to the Desk Manager tab and refresh the page. The user will now be shown as linked with their Web Manager based role already established. You may unlink this Web Manager account at any time by clicking Unlink. Unlinking the account prevents the user from logging into Web Manager with their Desk Manager credentials, but retains the user in case they are still provided Web Manager access. When the user account is deleted, the user is removed from Web Manager permanently. This prevents the user from being able to log into Web Manager at all. Next, click Roles. Some roles have been generated from Desk Manager Online. These system roles can be duplicated and tailored however you prefer. Select the role for this user. Then, click Save. The new user has been emailed an invite to Desk Manager Online. Next, we'll set up Buy Here Pay Here. First, click Settings, then click BHPH. In the first section, enter the dealership's late fee settings to automatically apply late fees. Next, set up how due dates are calculated. Beneath, the payment receipt settings can be changed. Lastly, you can set up buyer notification email settings for automatic payments. Desk Manager allows dealers to establish a unique stock number sequence. These stock sequences could be used to match pre-existing sequencing or to establish a new line of sequencing. Please note that if vehicles are imported from Desk Manager 11 or Web Manager, the stock numbers they were assigned originally will carry over to Desk Manager online as is. First, go to Settings. In the Inventory section, click Stock Number. Stock Number settings are not shared between lots or dealerships, this way lots can establish their own unique stock sequence. There are several options for how to set up stock numbers in Desk Manager. You can select the last 6, 8, 
or 10 characters of the vehicle's VIN as the stock number, or choose Don't Use VIN to create a custom stock number sequence. The user can enter a prefix, next number, and suffix, that will be used to create the custom stock number. The prefix and suffix will always remain the same, while the next number will increase incrementally as vehicles are added. Trade-in vehicles can have a different set of stock numbers as well, using the same rules as newly acquired vehicles. Once you are finished, click Save. Next, we'll set up account numbers in Desk Manager online. First click Settings. Next click Account Number under the Deal category. You will then be able to add the next account number you would like to use. There are also options for a prefix and suffix if desired. Check the box if you would like to manually edit stock numbers. Desk Manager Online allows you to define taxes and fees templates based on the requirements of your dealership. Depending on the type of the deal, you can have different values for taxes and fees. For example, taxes might not be applicable to wholesale deals. Or, if you are doing business in a state that has different tax settings based on the city or county, you can define different templates for each setting. Furthermore, if your business handles out-of-state sales, you can define different templates that would be applicable to out-of-state deals. To create a template for taxes and fees, click Settings. In the Deal section, click Taxes and Fees Templates. In the Deal Templates page, users with multiple lots can select the lot for which they are creating a template. Otherwise, click Add Template. In the Create New Template page, enter a name and an effective date. If you are expecting a tax rate change in your state, you can create a new template based on the new tax rates and set the effective date according. Starting from the date of your effective date, the system will automatically apply the new rates. If this template is where you like to start your deals, click the box Use as default. Clicking Save will create your new template. Next, click Taxes. Before making changes to these settings, check with your tax advisor. Some states provide a tax table. If the state has a tax table available, this option will be checked by default. If you do not want to use the provided tax tables for any reason, please uncheck the box. Otherwise, the tax rates will need to be entered manually when applicable. Depending on the laws of your state, the tax rates may be calculated based on your dealership address or based on the buyer's address. In addition, depending on your state, the list of applicable taxes and fees will be different. Click Save once you have completed your tax setup. Back in the Deal Template page, click Fees. Once in the Setup Fees page, enter the values for all applicable fees. Check with your tax advisor and independent dealer association for the list of applicable fees, and whether any of those fees are taxable. To prevent others from changing these values during the creation of a deal, make sure to check the Read Only checkbox. Click Save once the fees are properly filled out. After the template is created, a template can be applied to any pending deal under the Deal section, or when you create a new deal. Desk Manager Online allows you to create finance templates based on the requirements of your dealership. Finance templates are used to create a default finance structure in a deal. First click on the Settings page. Under the Deal section you will find the Finance Templates. Click here to open the Finance Templates page. Click Add Template to create a new Finance Template. In the Create Finance Template, provide a name, interest rate, and term. Make any changes to the period to first payment, finance method, and interest calculation method as required by your company. By default, Desk Manager Online will display the difference between the APR and the interest rate if the calculated APR is within the margin of 0.125%, allowed by Reg Z. In some cases, a dealership may choose to display the actual calculated value of the APR. If you are unsure, leave the option unchecked. If you use this template for most of your deals, make sure to check the Use as Default checkbox. Once you are satisfied with the data entered here, click Save. Within a deal, you can select the finance template to use from the drop-down. Next we will go over how to manage pack. First, click Settings. Then click Pack Settings under the Inventory section. On the Pack Settings page, there is a section for the used car pack amount and trade-in pack amount. It is important to note that amounts entered will be applied to new vehicles added to your inventory, but there is an option to apply these pack amounts to your currently available inventory. Once you are done, click Save. You may add pack to vehicles in inventory by clicking the Purchase Info tab. Now we will go over how to set up Profit Formula. Desk Manager Online uses a Profit Formula to calculate your front, back, and gross profits for every deal. 
Desk Manager Online also provides a comprehensive set of options to define and customize your profit formula, based on the needs of your dealership. In order to set up your profit formula, click on Settings. In the Settings page, under the Deal section, click Profit Formula. Since your profit formula affects your bottom line, please consult with your accountant or tax advisor to make sure all the options are properly set. In the Profit Formula screen, there are sections for Front, Back and Gross Profit. The front-end profit is used to calculate commissions for sales-based roles. Back-end profit is for calculating commissions for managerial or finance roles. Gross profit is the profit for the dealership over the entire deal. Items that are colored green are items that are considered income. In other words, you receive money for those items from your customers. Red items represent the expenses you incur for the deal. Expenses also include discretionary expenses, such as PAC. Once satisfied with your formula, click Save. For every deal, you can see the breakdown of profit and expenses by clicking on Recap. In addition, as you change different parameters in the deal screen, your front, back, and gross profit are displayed under the Contract Summary section. Also, keep in mind that in order to see the profit amounts in the deal screen, or have access to the Recap feature, the user must have the necessary security access rights. The corresponding access right settings can be found under Settings, then Roles, then click the appropriate role. Next, we will add Vendors to Desk Manager Online. First click Settings. Next, click Vendors under the Third Party category. Then click Add New. When adding new vendors, the general page contains the vendor contact details, information, and address. The identification data page is used for any identification numbers associated with the vendor. Vendors may also be added when adding costs, purchase info, and accessories. Next we will go over adding a finance company to Desk Manager Online. First click Settings. Underneath the category for third party, click Finance Companies. This will take you to the Finance Company Settings page. Click Add New. When you are adding a finance company, it is important to make note of the four tabs within the finance company, general, identification data, finance plans, and flooring plans. These four tabs have all the information for the finance company. Click Save to finish adding the new finance company to Desk Manager Online. Next, we will go over how to create inventory substatuses. Desk Manager allows you to manage the lifetime of a vehicle from the moment it is added to your inventory, to the point that it is sold. Since every dealership has their own unique workflow for managing cars in their inventory, this feature allows you to define your own sub-statuses to address your exact needs. Within any sub-status, you can also manage how your car is displayed on your web manager website. Click on Settings. In the Inventory section click on Sub-status. Desk Manager Online has a predefined list of statuses that might be applicable to a vehicle in your inventory. By defining sub-statuses, each one of these statuses can implement a custom workflow based on the needs of your dealership. A sub-status could affect your vehicles in the following ways. It can exclude a vehicle from the available inventory list, this would hide the vehicle until the status was changed. Prevent the sale of a vehicle, this would stop a user from marking a contract as final. Setting a vehicle to live would be used when a vehicle is ready to be shown on your web manager website and or be exported to a third party. Do not show price on website, will prevent the showroom or internet price from showing. It would be replaced with the phrase, call for price, along with the dealership's main business number. The final option determines if a sub-status is applied by default when a vehicle has the status. Clicking on Edit Substatus List will take you to the Inventory Substatus page to make changes to pre-existing substatuses, or to create user-defined substatuses. When you are done with your changes, click Save. While entering in a vehicle, the default sub-status will be applied based on the status the vehicle is assigned. Next, we will go over how to create a status for pending deals. Desk Manager allows you to define custom statuses, based on the specific needs of your dealership, and how you would like to create a workflow for handling your pending deals. A pending deal's lifetime starts from the time that your customer makes the first initial contact with your dealership, to the time that you end up selling the car to that customer. These statuses help you manage your pipeline efficiently, and be able to see how many deals are at a specific status at any given time, and take the appropriate action accordingly. To create pending deal statuses, click on Settings. Then under the Deal section, click Deal Status. 
Desk Manager has created a few sample statuses for your reference. You can use, modify, delete, or create your own set of statuses based on the requirements of your dealerships. Some typical statuses that might be applicable include the following. Pending working lead, the customer has contacted you and you are working on a deal with them. Pending submitted to lender, you have sent the deal information to the lenders and are waiting for their response. Dead deal, after going back and forth with a customer, you realize this deal is not worth pursuing anymore. If you would like to add new statuses, click add new. In the name field, enter a name for your status, for example, pending customer financing, and select a color if you so choose. Click Save. Next, we will go over how to create accounting statuses. Desk Manager Online gives users the ability to organize active or closed accounts however they see fit. Giving account statuses allows individuals to quickly filter out accounts that may not be important at that time. To create account statuses, click on Settings. Under the Accounting section, click Accounting Status. Clicking it will take you to the Accounting Status page. Desk Manager has some pre-existing statuses that can be repurposed or removed depending on how your company manages accounts. To add a new account status, click Add New. A text box will appear with a color will to color code your new account status. Enter the name, select a color, then click Save. To remove an accounting substatus, click the Delete icon.